Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using yarn in Melanie Wool Cindy brand. It's 50% acrylic and 50% polyester. And the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 8 millimeters. That our chain is not twisted. Then right here on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row one I'll chain five. Then I'll skip four chains and through this fifth chain I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain five. Then right here on the fifth chain from I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain five. I'll skip four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain five. I'll skip four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row one. Off row one, I'll chain five, then, then right here through this fifth chain, I'll make one single crochet. So now we'll be working only on the rounds, so we won't be able to see where we have joined our rows. So I'll chain five for row two, then right here through this next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain five. Then through the next five chain loop I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain five. Then right there through the next five chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Through the next five chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Through the next five chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Through the next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain five. Then through the next five chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat this until we come at the end of this row.
in the second row, we will not be joining it with a slip stitch because we are working all, all around without joining the rows. So I will chain five. And right here through this next five chain space, I'll make one single crochet. So now if you want to mark this row, you can either use a stitch marker right here through this loop or through this chain, or you can just judge it by this uh, leftover tail from our foundation row. So this pattern is actually very, very easy, but it still looks nice because the yarn is thick and and the loops are quite large and I don't even know, it's just beautiful. So for row 3, we'll basically be repeating row 2, so we'll only be working in these 5 chain spaces. So again, I'll chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 5. Through the next 5 chain space, I'll make one single crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 3. So to finish off row 3, again, I will not be joining with a slip stitch, I will just continue working on these 5 chain spaces. So I will chain 5, then right there through the next 5 chain loop, I will make 1 single crochet. So you can see, you can tell where we have joined our rows. So for the pattern, we will repeat row 3. So we repeat row 2 until our work measures 23 inches. And now we will just weave these ends in 